Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and I'm from Nikki's Random Unicorn Things. And today I'm going to be doing a first page book review. Basically, I'm going to read um, the first page from three different books and I'm going to rate them how good they are and how they basically catch me onto the book. Like, make me want to read it or make me not want to read it. And I will put them in order from first to third or third to first. Like, least to greatest, or greatest to least. Okay, let's get started with this. What does that mean? Okay, first I'm going to introduce all the books. The first one is The Stepping Off Place. Uh, this one looked really cool, so I decided to grab it. And then, Every Moment After. I feel like this one's going to be really good. And I think it's going to be, like, a horror book, because it has, like, a lot of names crossed off. And then this one is... We are all made of molecules. Molecules. I've heard a lot about this book and I'm excited to read it. Because a lot of people that I know like it. What's wrong with my hat? But whatever. Let's get started. I'm probably going to start off. These are all young adult books. So if you want to check them out. I'm going to start with smallest to greatest. Because that's the order I have it in. Okay. Let's get started. So I am back and we are going to start with We Are All Made of Molecules because why not? I'm not going to read this, that's the point of it. I've already read it at the library, but to you guys, you won't know. So we gotta see if this book makes you like hooked onto it. And this, I think it's from different perspectives because it says Stuart. Stuart. I have always wanted a sister. A brother, not so much. I like symmet symmetry, and I always felt that a sister would create the perfect quadrangle or family square with the X chromosomes forming two sides and the Ys forming the rest. When I bugged my parents, they would say, Stuart, we already have the perfect child. How would we do any better than you? It was hard to argue with their logic. Then, one day, when I had just turned 10, I over overheard a private conversation between them. I was in my room building my birthday present, an enormous Lego spaceship, without using instructions because I have very good spatial abilities. My mom and dad were downstairs, but I could hear their voices clearly through the heating vent. Okay, this is good. I would really want to read the second page. And I can see it has some illustrations right here on the next pages, like pages three. This book sounds really, really, really good and I feel like I know what's gonna happen. I feel like maybe um, she overheard them saying like, oh, I think I might be pregnant, yada, yada, yada. Jeez, that scared me. But anyways, this book, I would give it a, just on the first page, a nine out of 10. It sounded really good, maybe a 9.5 even. So we're gonna set that aside. And now, every moment after, I'm super excited to read this one. Let's get on to the first page. Okay, this page is a little longer and it has a little longer, um, little smaller font. Maybe, yeah, I think. On the first page it looked like it had big, smaller font, bigger on this one, and smaller on this one. Okay, let's get started. One, chapter one, Cole. People want to forget, no one would ever say it, but I think this town will be glad to see our class leave. They put up all the memories you would, you'd you expect, but there was no need. We're living reminders, year after year, walking the streets, sitting in the din diner, popping up in a marching band and on the baseball team. Teachers retired right before we got to them. Like we, like we were a wave slowly sweeping from grade two to 12, washing away all the old and tired ones. The ones who were sick of telling people they taught school in East Ridge, New Jersey and getting that horrible look back. The ones who couldn't deal with stare, staring out at our faces for a whole year. And now, those who made it all the way to this afternoon who at, <laughs> afternoon have convinced themselves that they need to get through only a few more hours as if they'll be able to forget us after we're gone. Even the weather knows the script today. Loud gray, low gray clouds black in the distance. A warm wind mid 60s it will rain later but it will hold off until after we're go all gone from quick parties with our parents before coming back 
to be bussed off for project graduation. Okay, so this one doesn't give as much details, <coughs> but I feel like it has sort of a spooky beginning that kind of sets the scene. But I feel like I kind of want to know more where it's starting off from. But like the same time, the first word is, the first sentence is, people want to forget. And I kind of think this is going to be a really good book. So probably an 8.9. I'm sorry. So, so far, I think We Are Molecule, Molecules is in the first place. But it's like really close behind. Okay, next book. This is The Stepping Off Place. This one sounds pretty good. Part 1. Chapter 1. August 27th. I didn't know this was the day I would stop breathing. It was a rush hour in my hometown of Schofield, Connecticut, and I was heading home for my ma ma matinee, matinee, M-A-T-I-N-E-E, -E. what was that, hostess, hostess shift at the dinner theater. Unfortunately, I'd forgotten my running clothes and still wore my compuls compulsory hostess uniform, a polyester, polyester girl tux with a skirt instead of pants, two thick pantyhose, and back and back loafers. God help me. I just hope nobody spot, spotted me. I crept along with I crept along with the other cars jammed on the post rope. It was the kind of traffic where you should pay attention so you don't rear end someone. But the sky was so captivating I couldn't take my eyes off. Eyes from it. So this one was kind of short, and as much as like this one as well as this one I meant, it's like kind of starts off setting the scene, but at the same time it's just like I want to keep reading to know what's happening. But there were a lot of words I didn't know, and I like that to add words to my vocabulary. But sometimes I don't understand books that much, so I think I might have to tie it with every moment after in an 8.9 or an 8.89. So, I think I would rank this, um, we are all made of molecules, maybe, probably first. These two would probably be tied, but I think I might read this one first. But we shall see later on in the book. So please, pretty please, go check these books out and help the authors, the special authors, um, for Every Moment After, which is Joseph Moldover. Moldover. I hope I'm saying these correctly. And the stepping off place. Uh, awesome covers, by the way. Ooh. Um, and the stepping off place by Cameron Kelly Rosenblum. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Even though they probably won't see this. And then we are all made of molecules. Uh, this perfect cover. I love it. Mwah. It's by Susan Nielsen. Oh, I've read from her before. She had really good books. So, yeah. I hope you guys really check out these books. You should definitely try it. I recommend. Just by reading the first page. Can you believe that? 